On the 11th of October, we mentioned PC Paul Elliott, a Humberside Police Constable who was alleged to have misused an app in order to get himself free drinks, exploiting it and breaking the terms of its use in the process. Back in October, it was to let you know that he was facing a misconduct hearing for his cheek, which basically amounted to fraud as a loophole where he and his friends could simply use different email addresses to re-register on the app for a free beer each time, even though there was a one beer per person limit. The pair managed to claw out 26 pints of Heineken between them. Now, to be honest, it's something I probably would have done. Not that I'm trying to defend PC Paul Elliott, because if I'd have done it and got caught, then I'd simply admit it. But this is a copper defrauding a company for his own gain rather than a member of the public. And of course, had I done the same thing, then I'm sure PC Paul Elliott wouldn't even have thought twice about coming to arrest me for it. The misconduct hearing was held on Thursday the 17th of November, but Elliot failed to appear to represent himself. However, as he had already quit by this time, I'm pretty sure he didn't really give a toss. The hearing held in Ghoul heard how ex-PC Elliot was in Loxley Sports Bar and Grill in Sheffield with friends on June the 29th, 2021, when he took advantage of an offer by Heineken of a free pint if an email address and other personal details were provided to a table service order app. Chelsea Brook Ward, on behalf of Humberside Police, said Elliot realised that the app didn't verify the email address that were provided and ordered multiple pints with invented details. The group were thought to have got 26 free lagers between them during the evening. Despite being well aware, it was only one free pint. Elliot, in his interview, denied the offence, but the tribunal ruled that Paul Elliot would have been sacked from the pause had he not already resigned, after saying that the former constable's dishonesty amounted to gross misconduct. Now, it also turns out that during the investigation, Elliot also failed to disclose a speeding offence that he had been a suspect uh, and that he had been a suspect of a criminal investigation when he applied to transfer to the Derbyshire Police Force. The panel after deliberation decided that the best course of action was to say that they would have dismissed the former constable had he still been working, but they did say they'll be putting him on the College of Policing's barred list. Nick Hawkins, panel chairman, said such behaviour is discreditable and undermines public trust and confidence in policing. The public have a right to expect police officers to behave with honesty and integrity, both on and off duty. Former PC Elliot was dishonest on two separate occasions within a short time frame. So, a fraudster and a liar ousted, although I'm not sure how he got found out, but let's just be pleased that that's one less plot who's comfortable lying for their own regain. Gone. Another one bites the dust